so i am running vmware workstation on my machine you can use virtual box or any other uh, type of user also uh, but present uh, what i am doing is uh, uh, i am using vmware workstation personal edition recently from past one two months i think uh, usage of vmware workstation for personal usage is uh, free only you don't need to buy any license just whenever you launch it will ask uh, after installation if you start yes or no um, for personal usage if it is uh, for professional you need to uh, provide the license key for downloading this one also it's not uh, directly free download you need to register in the vmware website and then you need to download it from that portal mm, i can provide the download link by sharing it any google drive or something like that but uh, the version changes of vmware workstation for every two three months or six months like that if i upload now it will be the version up to date on today's date so if you watch this video some later point of time uh, you won't get the latest one so that's why as i to directly download from vmware workstation and uh, for downloading uh, For down for hard disk and how to install the OS uh, uh, by connecting to this VMware workstation, uh, you can follow this OS boxes dot org. You will get ready made OS. OS boxes dot org. And then come to VM images. I have, I am using VMware images, so I'm clicking this. If you are using VirtualBox or Hyper-V, just download the VirtualBox. Um, and that that VHD file you can include uh, uh, in the Hyper-V also. If it is coming as VDF file uh, from VirtualBox uh, command line utilities, you can convert into VHD and attach there. Now if you go to here i downloaded this ubuntu server if you just using command line uh, i downloaded ubuntu also the desktop version desktop version i downloaded now uh, that will uh, download a 7 zip or a zip format file if you extract that you will get a vmdk file that one you need to attach uh, as an external hard disk uh, when you are creating a vm that's it so now come here Ubuntu desktop. I, I provided one more VM. Uh, okay, from library. How did I remove this? Okay. See. Users. Desktop already there, but um, that we know I think I changed the folder, that's why it is not there. Just browse. On Windows 10, all this VMware and VirtualBox, everything will be fast. But on Windows 11, it's a bit slow because of the, all the bloated drivers and everything when compared to Windows 10. It will take some more time to make it fast. But for now, just use as is or just to increase, try on a high end machines. I 
get NAT adapter, you can keep fixed also. If you keep host only, you won't have access to internet. Or you can keep a combination of both NAT and one more adapter with host only. If you are using VirtualBox, host only through to it, you can SSH. NAT you can access to the internet. For VMware Workstation, just keep NAT. So for that SSH also will work. VMware Workstation, unlike VirtualBox. I have guest editions is already installed on service boxes, so that's why it's <coughs> getting enough automatically. Now sudo apt install hyphen y open ssh hyphen server boxes start over to the password os evo xes start over to. sudo apt install iphone by open ssh iphone server this is the software you need to install if you are getting any dependency issues something it's not installing like that first you update that voice sudo apt install iphone by open ssh iphone server that is the command if it doesn't work run this command before sudo apt update iphone by so now how it is working i have configured the should work IF config tools is not there, so just type IPAS that also will show the IP address. The IP address is uh, 192.168.22.130. It's a terminal on your host machine. SSH OS boxes. Enter it 192.168.22.130. Just type yes, OS boxes dot org. So I am remotely connected to this uh, machine in this console. Unlike RTP, just a uh, command access is there. So now we can uh, install Docker on this one. So that. Uh, Go to this uh, DevOps diary blog.wordpress.com. You can bookmark this size to post everything here. Now click index. There is Docker section. Click here. <coughs> Open this install with SH file and um, install on Docker 23. It's, it's, it's for older version 23. Now let me check what is my version. LSD underscore release hyphen by. It's 24 version. So Docker on Ubuntu 24. So go to the, this Docker website. Hmm, apt that Debian operating system. Uh, copy this as is so that it is setting the repository docker repository you know, because it is not there in official repository so we are linking adding the docker repository first and then updating it first step we are updating later we adding that docker repositories we are installing the dependencies ES certificate and call and then uh, we are adding that uh, docker repository for app resources and then we are updating again a 
எல்லாமே டாக்டர் சி இந்த இட்ஸ் இன்ஸ்டாலிங் கண்டெய்னர் டி ஆல்சோ நோ ப்ராப்ளம் ட்ரை பேஸ் என்ன வரும் ப்ராம்ப்ட் ஃபர் still updating i will pause the video first time now completed uh, so you can just scroll down uh, you have this uh, we installed with this command right now just run this command to check whether the dot car command is working properly or not so it's downloading that image from docker hub Docker is <coughs> sorry. You see, I am getting permission in it. Sudo Docker PS minus A. It will show this one. Sudo Docker RM. Just uh, some partial name of this content ready. Try see. No, it's remove. So. All these uh, we have already done those steps. Now, if you come here, uh, post installation steps, click that one. So, present we need to run using that sudo command, right? Sudo command is for like run as admin in Windows. So, uh, it elevates to root access. So, instead of using sudo command every time, I want to set this uh, instructions so i need to add create a group called uh, docker so it's already exist when installing that one next this current dollar user represents current user this current user i am adding to that group now this will refresh it to activate those changes now type docker ps no, it's it's not we are not getting this permission in a day or not so this is the and uh, every time when we restart uh, we need to run this one so if you run this one it will automatically restarts it enables as a boot service So 
it's an password this one if you can go to this counter let's not see now but uh, present it is not required i came to this kind website so with this i want to set up this kind cluster and all but before that uh, let me take a snapshot of this uh, as docker installed sudo shutdown now we shut down this machine Machine got shut down. Click on this one. Create a snapshot as a Docker install. So that I can revert to this state whenever I want. Or clone a new machine from that snapshot also. It's running again. Now connect again. It's connected. Install from the list and this. So this is where we can install the kind cluster. So for X it is this one. Copy this one. Paste. Add uh, parentheses to that also. Not like there. Creating cluster. It's using a previous node image where all the necessary elements and everything is already specified. Just a type kind create cluster, it will create a default cluster. You can use the wait. Configuration created by the You can give a name also. I'll keep like this. I can create a three node cluster also. But present, let me just uh, create two clusters.
created uh, you can see group CTL the group CTL is not there so you need to install group CTL also Section I will draw this in some format of us. Just copy this one. Now that is done. There is good CTL. It's there. Cluster info. Hyphen hyphen context. Ours is kind of hyphen one, right? It's not showing. Oh, it's uh, context is set to kind kind one. Two times. one more cluster now two are there kind kind two just by switching the context you can uh, see the cube detail comments So now two nodes have to still get nodes. Okay. Single control timer. So for testing this is so now let me create a third node with uh, like this example config two workers and one control pen Example R multi node that Y and R hyphen hyphen in and hyphen hyphen config name. Extra ports on the nodes to the host machine. If you are using node port service, you can add seven host ports. For now, let's keep this way.
and to give an overview this kind we can use for test environments mostly won't be for for production uh, kind is actually uh, using the docker runtime on your machine and creates multiple uh, containers inside it with node image uh, those containers those docker containers will be treated as your kubernetes nodes so it's like a kubernetes cluster running inside docker understood so best used for your test environments or any pos environments for production level it won't scale that much so for now let let's wait till it completed now i am able to see kind tree cluster also created so get nodes kind tree you see three nodes are there are still not ready yet but uh, uh, we'll wait by keeping hyphen hyphen watch for some time in the background they are using the uh, uh, docker docker uh, containers as nodes and for first three node 1 node 2 uh, actually it created a single node so that single node is a container here and for other two mm, this is for the third cluster we kept this three node cluster right to work us for that it is still it's in not ready state let's see the logs of it must still running sometime anyway but in the meanwhile let's test other cluster application that we need put ctl kind get clusters please show the cluster kind put ctl get pods hyphen hyphen context Kind icon, kind icon, on. no parts in that one. So I will create one part. Uh, okay. This is the deployment file. In a Linux app, I am keeping labels, I am keeping example app, I am keeping three replicas. Now let me create a service also for that. In this service, I am keeping the type as node port because uh, I can directly access the container port node with the local machine and uh, with that port I can access that application because uh, uh, we are accessing from that node daily. Anyway, it's a single node, kind one nodes. So we can directly access that. So cube CTL apply f and f uh, dot so all the ml files were created uh, let me see what ok multi node ml files are there ok move mkda example only deployment to example only service to so you see apply fnf dot <coughs> yeah now 
see the difference. Let's see first of all image. Come on, get it first. Zero already. Container creating state it is. <coughs> waiting to start container creating still we need to wait now they change it to ready state with this watch command get pods so pods are running now So the deploy should show three by three. Because all are in running state now. Yeah. Showing three by three, three after that. Get service. Example server, right? It's a node for type. So three zero seven now. This one. Or you can check like this also. This type service and in the output we can type uh, grep notebook 307 so from that machine I can try Containers, multiple parts are running, so it's good slow. Again, only 4 GB RAM. Let's wait. Let's see the condition of nodes also now. Yeah, now now they came to ready state. This worker two is in ready state. Worker also. is not still in not ready state you can wait for that or cut to then check the ready state you can map from here to that also settings Let me just see the Calcom and Air Capon command. Okay, that works. Mat, advanced. There is a port for making virtual board. HTTP T0706 not
so the service is not accessible right uh, so kind kind get clusters sorry kind get clusters Prompted it came like this, right? This configuration and everything. So I will do one thing. Type uh, find one dot y one. <coughs> so then the put the name or which are vector which is that. delete two sorry second level kind two it's deleting that second cluster now what i will do is uh, i will create a config file for that by adding that extra mapping session this one right uh, this extra mappings container for post post technical copies so I will do one thing, I will copy this one, 80, 80 and 80 I am fixing there, and then I will uh, calculate 3 zero I will put there, 3 zero I will put there. I will keep uh, anywhere that is required, and this UDP instead of UDP I need TCP, TCP is the default value, 0, 0, 0, 0 is also default value. So I will use this one and create a cluster. And find two. Cluster command. It will be in this format. So it will be kind of two. Sorry, kind of one two. Cluster name. Kind of one two. I'll create with this way so that uh, for single node uh, uh, we will use the same uh, port number 30,032 uh, something and set that node port fixed so that we can access that application
created but what exactly is done well this one click ctl docker ps see kind of control plane to control plane. You see, it added extra port mapping here. That is linked to port 2 dot 3 this one, this one and 3080. This is the default one coming to switch over port 3 and this is extra 3080 which we added. So, whatever, if we set this node port as 3080, we can access that from that host machine itself or that service ls cd example kubectl offline hyphen f dot hyphen f and context q hyphen q hyphen q It's uh, services making sure that you are not okay. I mean, there is a space in this name space. It's not required. Okay, some kind of and some also there is a website issue. RM kind of thing. So services are created. QCTL, get test VC, hyphen n, hyphen hyphen context. Kind of thing. Kind of thing. <coughs> Example service. It linked to three zero one six nine. So let me edit that. So that I will map it to three zero eight zero. <coughs> because it gave some random value and it didn't keep in the same effect. Okay. Yes. 
said. Change this default directory to man for each day. Time in yet open in man. Because the earlier command it opened all the services. That's why. Now put I'll change to 3080. Not accepting. So delete this first. Delete service. Okay, it's only in the thirty thousand range. It should be. This is the one option I got. So let's see what is it.
and config is there in there. So just copy here. So you see here, yep. config here. I can use open system. Get all the components. Yeah. Control W thirty eight. Enter create one because there is no update option. For now, let's delete and then check. to create but let me update that first
we'll change it to 380. Not creating any. Only those not looking. Three of any for nothing. No? Maybe we'll create again, so that's why as it is slow, I'm building it. Crime 1 and Crime 2, delete it. Crime 2 and recreate now. Now see whether we have how many docker players or petition. Nothing because uh, two are deleted, one is still creating stage. Let's see what are deleted. Okay. Every time when we do a delete, it will stop and delete them also. Still it is creating flickering nodes. Now let's see. CD download. Three example ls two ctl and config ls two ctl up by hyphen f dot let me take some namespace also and for the again I need to take this and uh, I can it in context find icon find icon to okay not good I think uh, Same as that one. The service is created now. Docker VS will show 380 days post. Two CTL get test VC. Should show this as node port 380. Now let me curl FTP and that Put some time to that, that's it. <coughs> 380 page is showing. Okay. This is as for now. Yeah. 